Hi and welcome. So in this video I'm just going to go through some of the things that I had difficulty with programming the FMC for the tutorial flight for the 777 by PMDG and Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we're at gate 64 at Haneda International Airport, Japan, which it says to do in the tutorial, gate 64. We jump in the cockpit, I'm just going to go up to the top. You need to just turn on one of the external powers, so we get power. And then you need to go up here, the ADIRU, left click that, and that's all we need to do up there. Then we can go down to here and we can start working on the FMC. So we click on FMC and this first page we don't need to do very much. I've got the latest Iraq nav data 2406 at this time. So all I need to do is click on pods in it. Now it's got up here reference airport. So this is RJTT and then click next to that and then gate 64 like I said. So we click that and then just see how it said set initial pause. That didn't come up immediately. And if you're wondering why that doesn't come up, if you have not clicked this ADIRU button, that will just never come up. So just make sure you click the ADIRU, then you can click last pause and then set inertial pause. It takes about 30 seconds and then you can do that option. So click on root. Now we've got root request. Now what's interesting here is say you clicked root request at the moment. Do you see how there's nothing mentioned about sim brief in there? Watch this. If we go all the way over to here and click on electronic flight bag and then request data from sim brief, click that once. Now go over to here and click on regroup request. Do you see how you've got sim brief option in there now? Now why this is important is because I was trying to work out why it didn't say set payload set fuel option. If you don't go over here and click on request new data from sim brief, that never comes up. So you won't get set fuel set payload option. So I'll just go over to this one. I'll click on FS actions and fuel. We can see in the plane at the moment it's got 48,000 kilograms of fuel. What we'll do is we'll go into root request, click on the sim brief option, so I click here, do you see how it's got now set payload, set fuel? So I'll click on set payload and then I'll click on set fuel. Now I'll just watch it, you can see 48,508, click set fuel and it's now jumped, 65, 3, 10. And if we go over to our flight plan, you can see that the block fuel is about that. See block fuel is just up here the very top number 65310 and so that's what it's entered 65310 so that's the trick to getting that to be automatically entered just make sure you click this first when you're going through click request your data from sim brief then you've got that option so that's the first thing that really got me stuck once we've done all that we can click sec root and now at this point it can be not obvious what you need to be doing you just see activate but just wait so root request sent still wait, don't click anything at this time. So you're still waiting and it will come up with a load option over here. Do you see how it's now got the word load? So what we're going to do is we're going to click the word load and then you're waiting again. So root one uplink loading, you're just waiting at this point. You could prepare to put in the runway information but I'm just going to wait. So now, I'm unsure whether or not you can put in the runway or you have to wait, but it seems like it's fine to just click activate and then click execute and now put in your runway information. So go and put in 16R, which mentions in the tutorial. Click in here, runway 16R, and then click execute. And then this extra information down here we can just clear. So CLR, CLR, and CLR. It's just updating us so it's got all that in there. Then click Perth init. And then in here, zero fuel weight. Now, if you just left click once here, it'll enter the number for you and then left click it again. And that's all entered. So now you're just clicking on accept, the little button next to here, click on accept. That's all entered and you can go into the thrust limits. Now this is something you can get into with another topic, but as a gamer and someone who's not really trying to do it as per real life, I'm just doing one degree higher than the what's mentioned. So I'm just putting in 30 and select and that's all I'm doing. No D-rate or anything else. Um, but if you want to, you can get into this and work out what your right select number is. Then I click on take off. I'm just putting my flaps to five always. And CG, just left click once and then left click again and then you've got your trim. 
your trim is basically this and you can move it with this lever here so that's all you're doing there and you can make it to whatever you want to do these reference numbers don't enter them at the moment because they're going to get reset so I'm going to go into departure arrival and now the tutorial flight mentions to select VAMOS free so I'm just going next page until I get to the bottom then I'm left clicking here VAMOS free and then on the right I'm clicking on 16R so we click on 16R there and then we click execute that's good so now to get back to arrival what I'm doing at least is I'm clicking departure arrival again next to YSSY it's got arrival so I'm right clicking to the right of that and then in here it's only got bore free P if you look at the tutorial flight it mentions 4P not 3P so there's no 4P option if you go through this there's only 3P so that's fine all we need to do is we click on bore free P and then make sure that you click ILS 16R up here. Don't click the 16R down the bottom. Click in ILS 16R at the top. So click that one. Once you've got that selected, click Execute. So now we've got to sort out a plan a little bit because it doesn't load perfectly. So click on Plan and I'm just going to click on 40. Go back down to here. That's just changing the information up here so we've got it as a reference as to what's going on. So I'm going to go back to... Uh, legs page so I'm clicking on the word legs here now what you'll see is there's a discontinuous here OPAR doesn't go anywhere so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on step step and step and then you've got OPAR but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get rid of OPAR and I'm going to get rid of these squares so to do that I'm going to go to the next page by either clicking step or clicking next page so I'm clicking step you can't see any of that at the moment but you see UTBO if we click this it's then going to go back up and take out the previous page so what I'll do is I'll click UTBO by left clicking here once and then click on previous page then you see OPA I'm going to left click once on OPA then execute so it's erased it then UTBO I've got to left click it again to select it and then I'm going to click on these little ones here so I'm going to click over here for this one it destroys that one and then click execute so now when I click my steps that we've got here I click on step 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 it's all good so we've got our top of cruise we go all the way through and there's a lot of waypoints but you will find that if you program the FMC that way you've now got a full flight all the way leading down towards the airport so that's good so that's all in our entered. So we go back to initial reference page. Now you can go back to here and you can put in your takeoff ref. So click that, click that, and then click that. So that's now all entered. Um, that's good. The other things you can do is you can go into FMC com. In here, it's got something uplink wind and uplink descent forecast. I'm still working the wind part out. I have put the file into the correct directory, but basically click that wind loader, data load left click here request and that's entered and then click execute as I say I'm still working this out but then click FMC com again do you see descent forecast left click that and then click load now normally in real life the real life pilots are not putting in the arrival straight away but just me as a gamer I'm wanting to understand am I able to program an FMC at this point and you can basically so so you understand that the actual legs that you have are all working but yeah just be aware that they're not necessarily doing that in real life um, then you've got your program page the progress page and you can just leave it on that but basically your FMC is now programmed just one other thing which is confusing if you go into the nav rad page you'll see park apparently that is normal for this plane so there's a whole bunch of conditions which need to be met before it will show but basically you have to be close to the runway and on on arrival um, it's not going to do it all the way back here at Haneda so we need to be up in the air before it's going to show the real number but that gets entered automatically you do not need to go down here and click in like your ILS code like you would with a 737 this one gets done automatically based on what you selected with your departure and arrival here so that's that's how that's working so you can see we've got ILS 16 that's what's going to be used to do do the ILS number 
in this case. So just be aware of that too because that can be quite confusing. Where do you enter it? And it's done automatically in this plane and all you can do is just go into the nav rab page as you're coming towards the airport and just check that that number is correct. You'll know of course if you've got your approach button working etc but that's just something else to be aware of. Um, and that's just mostly everything you need to do. I'll just go through what I have on there but if you click on your ident page pause in it, all that's entered, root is in here, click take off. This page you could improve if you wanted to but I'm just doing it as a gamer as I say and this is fine for me. Click on take off, you've got flaps 5, you've got all this, you've got your information entered, thrust limits and then if you go into your VNAV page you can watch what's going on and you can go through the different phases. As you go into progress and you're just looking at these two pages, the VNAV and the progress page as you're up in the sky like most of the time. You might also keep an eye on the legs page. What could be useful is just put like legs page on here and then like on this right one put on your VNAV information or your progress information. I'll click on menu FMC VNAV so you can just keep an eye on what's going on, your progress etc just on that right one. That could also be useful but I think um, that's everything.